Hey guys, Fire here from In Depth Gaming, bringing you another gameplay video. This time we're checking out The Strange Story of Brian Fisher, Chapter 1. This game is developed and published by Intetic and released on June 15th, 2021, for a price of $6.99. Uh, this could be the first of many versions of this game, as there is also a demo currently available for Chapter 2 for the game. No idea if the game will have like an achievement stack or separate list between the chapters, but it does look like we'll have many more uh, iterations and chapters of, you know, Brian Fisher's story. We did want to showcase the game here on the channel. As always, if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments if you want to pick the game up for yourself. There's a link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and let's check out the strange story of Brian Fisher, Chapter 1. Hello. My name is Brian Fisher. I'm a detective in my hometown police department. Twenty years ago, my father disappeared, and five months later, they pronounced him dead. But I never really believed any of that. You see, he was a well-known astronomer, astrophysicist, and an expert in space engineering. All his life, he worked tirelessly on new discoveries that he deemed important for all of humanity. As I recall it, Two weeks before his disappearance, at our normal nightly dinner, he seemed serious and distant, yet calm. Then suddenly he announced to me and my mother that long ago he made the most important discovery of his lifetime, one that would affect all of the world. He wanted to make it public and announce it, but at the same time, he told us his discovery, whatever it was, was never destined to see the light of day. Then he stopped talking. Seemed like he knew that something was about to happen to him. At that moment, me and my mother could sense that something was gravely wrong. He just wasn't his usual optimistic self. Two weeks later, he disappeared and never came back again. It was like he just vanished. Here, I want to tell you my story. The strange story about my father's disappearance, his discovery, and about the man that came into my life wanting to steal my father's discovery and use it to rule the world. I know that one chapter is not really enough to give you the whole picture, but I have to start from somewhere. So let me begin. The night was cold, but pleasant. I was walking through the park when somebody knocked me out, left me unconscious, and kidnapped me. Then, I woke up somewhere dark, somewhere locked, like a cage. It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Oh, that's much better. Hmm, 
Such an old newspaper. An article about the disappearance of my father? I have to read it. It might help me learn more about what happened. Damn, the safe's locked. I gotta find the code to open it. Hmm, there's a key in the safe. Uh, the door's locked, as expected. After I managed to escape from the cage, I thought I was free and that I'd be out of the cabin I had been trapped in. But I was wrong. That's when things started becoming even more difficult and complicated. It was a cold and dark cabin. It smelled like moisture and there was moss growing on the walls. It looked and smelled like no one had lived there in ages. But someone intentionally put the cage there. The main question I had was, who was the one trying to help me out of here? And just then I connected all the dots. I figured that my kidnapping had to be connected with my father's disappearance. It became clear to me as soon as I remembered the newspaper I saw back in the cage. At first it angered me, but then it motivated me to find out even more information and continue investigating the cabin. And so I kept looking for ways to get out, but also to look for new clues that might help me get closer to find out whoever was behind all this, and maybe more information about what happened to my father, a sign of hope.